Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs, and Turnbull Insurance Service since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. A special good morning and happy birthday to Susan Evans watching in Cheryl. Due to this week's devastating flooding, our road trip to the Ilian Mohawk area was interrupted and will be broadcast next Sunday along with our trip to Sylvan Beach. Today, we hope you enjoy these fan favorites from the past year. If you like used bookstores, keep your eyes open for the Berry Hill Bookshop just over a mile south of downtown Deansboro. Located in a big old barn, Berry Hill Bookshop has been run by the Swarthout family since 1968. The Berry Hill Bookstore has been here for 44 years, and there is quite a collection of books here. If you're looking for something, you'll find it here because there are over 70,000 books in this one building. And as it turns out, I was looking for um, Jack Henke's book. There's only one of those left. He's my neighbor. And uh, the ones that I had here have been sold out. Ooh! <laughs> All two of them. Loomis gang lived long ago near Sangerfield Counterfeited, murdered, and stole They sold stolen horses they had hidden in the swamp A ruthless bunch of criminals, I'm told Legend goes, Wash Loomis still rides his horse through the nine mile swamp they say. He's searching for Philkins and his posse of men who ended his life that day. Don't leave Deansboro without stopping in at Chris's Country Cafe. And while you're here, be sure to have the specialty of the house which are the hamburgers made on home-baked buns. They are incredible, along with everything else on the menu. And for breakfast, people come from miles away, in particular for the Arizona omelet, uh, that he will not give the secret, right? S secret came from Arizona and whatever. Uh, I'll have to make it a point to come back to try those famous omelets and to come here on a Sunday for the Eggs Benedict, because I'm not kidding when I say Eggs Benedict are my favorite of all breakfasts. What brought me to Deansboro? Well, I've been in Arizona 20 years and was born and raised here in the area. And I just decided, you know, my family's all here and I figured I'd been gone long enough. Um, got in the restaurant business out there and I opened up the very first P.F. Chang's and I opened them up all over the country and that was a great experience. and. Um, worked for a few other rest big restaurant chains out there and just decided to come home and found out about this place being available and decided to go out on my own and see what it was like. The Country Cafe is open every day for breakfast and lunch and is open Wednesday nights featuring a special menu and Friday nights with fresh fish. Another busy place at lunchtime is Deansboro Superette, the local gathering place where everyone knows everything about everybody. We find out that not only is our next interviewee celebrating a birthday, but that his favorite lunch is Lebanese falafels. Michelle whips up their Middle Eastern specialty and John writes a special birthday message. We head around the corner to Schwartz's Forge and surprise Joel with a birthday lunch. He explains why there's nothing better than a Deansboro Superette falafel. He returns the gesture with a memento, a golden ornament from their current project, a beautiful staircase for a New York City apartment building. I started off as a jeweler doing goldsmithing and silversmithing and eventually I, I had seen blacksmithing and said, oh that looks good. Uh, nobody liked my jewelry, it was too big. So and that was back in 1970 and I started forging and now I make uh, house jewelry. So it got bigger and bigger. Bigger and bigger, and uh, now I'm the specialty into uh, architectural metals and mostly stair work. I mean, we've done everything from a modern glass stair to uh, traditional French work that you see behind me. Um, we've done contemporary work out of sheet and plate. So we've, the, actually the most interesting thing is that nothing's the same. Oh, I love doing what I do. and. Uh, most days I really like going to work. I particularly like 
doing the work in the forge, um, which I don't get to do as much as I used to. As you walk through New York City, you may very well find uh, staircases where the railings were forged right here in Deansboro. This one with the gold leaf work is going to Park Avenue. And if you go to Washington, D.C., well, before we do that, if you were to go inside of Madonna's apartment, the railings inside there were made here in Deansboro and go to Washington, D.C., and the president's guest house, Blair House, the uh, balconies right here were made in Deansboro, New York, right here. To see more work from Schwartz's Forge, visit schwartzesforge.com. More from Deansboro after the break. Oh, it's not what you take or give. It is here I want to live. Yes, Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis. That dump truck you're looking for has arrived. A 2010 Ford F-350 Super Duty with only 7,000 miles. Yours for only $25,500 at Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs. You go the extra mile for your small business and should expect the same from your insurance company. For over 140 years, Turnbull Insurance Service has been committed to local small business. For your commercial coverage, turn to the company ready to go that extra mile. Turn to Turnbull. It's Sunday, which means it's Westmoreland Farmer's Market Day. Every Sunday from 9 to 1 at Seymour's Diner, Route 233, Westmoreland. Experience life in the 1800s at the Farmer's Museum in Cooperstown. Tour historic village and peek inside to see tradespeople at work. Visit the Lippet Farmstead, a living example of a mid-19th century farm, and take a ride on the magical Empire State Carousel. You're invited to celebrate Independence Day on July 4th with the sounds of 1776. Hear the muskets blast and the reading of the Declaration of Independence at 1 p.m. at the Farmer's Museum in Cooperstown. Melrose Supermarket is your family hometown market, known for their choice hand-cut meat, fresh-baked bread, and famous homemade pastas and salads. This week, save on whole boneless pork loin. Cut while you wait. Only $2.59 a pound at Melrose Supermarket, Frankfurt. Experience the lightweight wicking quality of alpaca with soft alpaca clothing at Paca Gardens. And of course, colorful and comfortable alpaca socks. There's also baby alpaca yarn, some made from local alpacas at Paca Gardens, West Main Street in Little Falls. Look and feel amazing at the graduation, tea, or garden party in a fun, comfortable dress from the Village Crossing. Check out the fabulous summer fashion in Clinton. North Star Orchards is open for the season. The greenhouse is full of potted plants, annuals, and vegetables, and outside you'll find perennials, trees, shrubs, and topsoil. The bakery's open too with fresh pies, cookies, breads, and muffins at North Star Orchards, Route 233, Westmoreland. Savor the flavor of authentic Southeast Asian cuisine at the Lotus Garden Noodle and Sushi House. The Pooh family welcomes you to lunch or dinner at the Lotus Garden behind the Stanley Theater on King Street in Utica. He held her close and kissed her cheek And then he slowly walked away For the last time Much of the beauty of the villages we explore is owed to their trees and no one knows the area's trees better than Harry Cresswell. He's planted many of them and can show you examples in almost any community. People may pass trees by taking them for granted, but not Harry. We grafted trees, things like that, that they don't do now. So I got a little knowledge there, and then I went to work for the Davy Company, and they had the schools for it, and all kinds of education programs. So have you planted a lot of trees in the area? I planted thousands of them. Planted 1,200 in Syracuse in one shot. And all, every village around here, I probably planted 100 in this Clinton here, maybe. A lot of them. And what's it like seeing a tree that you planted towering high? Oh, I like it. Yeah? 
What's it like? It's nice. It's better than looking at a Playboy magazine. If you need a tree planted, trimmed, moved, or removed, call Harry, 841-4418. Deansboro is farm country. We visit the picturesque 500-acre Landis Farm on Shanley Road. Mom and Dad aren't around today, but that doesn't slow down this farm. The Landis children are more than capable of handling the chores of this dairy and crop farm, named a dairy of distinction for its beauty. We grow corn, soybeans, triticale, oats, and many different kinds of hay. Uh, yeah, I have uh, a little shorthorn Holstein cross, and she's, uh, I, I really like the red ones, so she's, I was breeding for a red one, and she came out red, so she's really special. There was music in the valley. You can visit the Landis Farm Stand on Shanley Road in Deansboro. This time of year, there's strawberries and asparagus, as well as jams and jellies, soon followed by their peas and beans. We head further south to Brothertown Road to Sunny Brook Farm. This former apple orchard is now a grass-fed beef farm, run by third-generation farmer Dan Williams with help from his boys. Of course, they also have some pigs and chickens to keep things interesting. Well, the farm's been in the family since uh, 1969. Uh, it's transitioned from an apple orchard to dairy and from dairy to beef. Uh, it spanned three generations from my grandfather uh, to my father to myself. Well, basically, we are, our goal is to try to move these cattle once a day on fresh grass. And come winter time, we buy baleage uh, from my father's farm and feed the animals out. Uh, the goal is to minimize the amount of machinery needed and uh, to basically raise uh, good quality beef on grass. You can buy Sunnybrook Farm grass-fed beef at Williams Fence on Brothertown Road in Deansboro or through the Utica Food Shed Buying Club. Across the street from Sunnybrook Farm, in part of the original old apple orchard, is Jake's Gouda. Jacob Stolfus moved his family from Lancaster County to this small dairy farm in 1990. Recently, they expanded into the cheese business, specializing in Gouda. We're doing it about a year and a half now, and uh, we got started through Harold Schroeder. He's the man we bought the vat from. He's from the Netherlands. Uh, he, he was here a couple days and he had the recipes and he got us going. We were looking to make cheeses and for some reason that sort of took to us. It's a, it's a cheese that there's not a lot of it in the U.S. It's imported a lot. You can buy Jake's Gouda online at the Hamilton or Clinton farmers markets or local shops like Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton and North Star Orchards. Many of the farmers we visited this week mentioned the father of local rotational grazing, Troy Bishop, known as the Grass Whisperer. He manages the farm that was once his great-great-grandfather's, where he grazes organic dairy cows for local dairy farmers and educates people about sustainable agriculture. So this property right here is at the top of the Mohawk River watershed, and uh, this family farm has been in the, our family since 1872. So this farm is 100 acres and it's broken into 50 separate pastures. And then those pastures are rotated every day, twice a day. And that allows the grass to start at, like your lawn, four inches. And then by 50 days, it's ready to graze again. So we, we constantly rotate the cows to get fresh grass and that, that enhances the environment, gives us a profit and makes healthy cows. Farming is my passion. And grass farming in particular is what we do best here on the top of the hills in Deansboro. We have high lime soils. We're trying to protect our future generations. 
and um, it's a great place to have kids um, teach them about life and death and animals and the environment and wildlife. Um, it's just a great place to live. To learn more about sustainable grazing and grass-based agriculture, or to take one of Troy's pasture walks, call Madison or Oneida County Soil and Water Conservation and ask for Troy Bishop, the Grass Whisperer, or visit thegrasswhisperer.com. Traveling around the Mohawk Valley. Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis. That dump truck you're looking for has arrived. A 2010 Ford F-350 Super Duty with only 7,000 miles. Yours for only $25.5 at Skinner & Demulis in Richfield Springs. Make a delicious impression at your wedding, baby shower, or corporate event with delectable delights from Sugar Babes Cupcakes and Christine's Cookie Shop. Or sweeten up an ordinary day with a visit to their pastry shop at 46 Genesee Street, New Hartford, behind Randall's Pharmacy. VIEW presents the Forge Festival of Arts and Crafts, Thursday, July 4th from 9.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. Over 60 skilled vendors of handcrafted furniture, handwovens, jewelry and pottery, and food, beer and wine at the Adirondack Bank parking lot in Old Forge. For the most unique shopping experience, visit the Little Falls Antique Center and the shops at 25 West. Over 40 local vendors, all under one roof. Shop local at the Little Falls Antique Center and the shops at 25 West. Always worth the drive at Canal Place in Little Falls. Brenda's Natural Foods is the natural choice for healthy local products, gluten-free and gourmet foods, personal care and natural cleaning products. Brenda's Natural Foods, West Dominic Street in Rome. Shop shelter for handmade Adirondack furniture designed by craftsman Jim Kiefer. He works with you to create custom pieces to your specifications, from dining room and coffee tables to bookcases, beds, and bunks. Call or visit shelter on Main Street in Old Forge. Why do contractors and do-it-yourselfers shop Lincoln Davies? It's the superior grade lumber, the value for the money, the 140 years and six generations of customer service. Since 1872, Lincoln Davies has delivered superior lumber, value, and service, and they're not about to change things now. Celebrating 140 years at the same location, just 10 minutes south of New Hartford on Summit Road between Routes 12 and 8. Lincoln Davies, building them like they used to. Call Yannick Excavating for all your residential and commercial projects, from new construction and land clearing to septic systems, driveways, basements, ponds, and topsoil. Visit YannickExcavating.com. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. Loyalty is something you can't sell. Not something that you find in wishing well. Special thanks to Turnbull Insurance Service and Mark and Jim Turnbull. Their continued support makes the show possible. They'll take care of you, take care of your friends. There's nothing better you can do. Look at the clock, the time is now. Tomorrow's no promise anyhow. Take care of your Oriskany Boulevard is a great place for shoppers, with a shopping plaza and many little shops like the Potting Shed Antiques. For over 35 years, the Potting Shed has featured antique glass, furniture and lighting, and specializes in antique jewelry and coins. It is open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 5. Further along Oriskany Boulevard is Discount Hobby Specialties. Here you'll find all kinds of summer projects for the kids, or for the kid at heart. From model cars and trains, to helicopters and rockets. Uh, remote control stuff, uh, just regular models, building models. Uh, we do, wow, we do almost anything, kites and rockets, of course, yes. Our biggest site is the rocketry. Actually, I'm retired, and uh, and I figured this uh, keep me busy instead of being home watching tube or something or other. Just uh, and it's interesting. You meet a lot of interesting people.
I'm at BNF Milk Center, and as luck would have it, they have my very favorite kind of ice cream, uh, maple walnut. And as a matter of fact, they have soft ice cream, which is also maple walnut. It's like being in ice cream heaven. Mm. They have 23 other soft flavors, everything from apple pie to espresso to tutti frutti, watermelon, you name it. Way down Oriskany Boulevard is the popular Route 69 Steakhouse, now with a screened-in patio for outdoor dining. We meet Chef Bob Griffin to tell him how impressed we are with the steaks and also the Riggies and Greens. It's hard to believe he's not a Utica Italian. I have never been here since it has been the Route 69 Steakhouse, but years ago I came here when it was the Blue Note, and I'm going to tell you that the food here is absolutely off the charts. Uh, it's not only a steakhouse. You can get things as we did this afternoon, chicken riggies, incredible, greens, very Utica. Uh, make it a point to come out here and enjoy it yourself. One of our most popular items is the chicken riggies. Uh, we've won the riggie fest in the past. Um, we're famous for our riggies. Actually on Thursdays we do all you can eat chicken riggies. It's very popular and um, it's one of our more, po more popular dishes. We also do greens and our steaks definitely are phenomenal. Actually, our chef has been here since day one, since we opened, and he's, he's cooked in Long Island for quite some time, so when he came here, he had no idea what chicken riggies were or greens. So he's kind of adapted to the surroundings, and we've put our culinary aspects together as to what he wants to do to them and what we know as they are, and this is what we've come up with, and he's done great ever since. To please people. I like to see happy faces to, you know, someone coming up and saying thank you, that was the best party. Like we do banquets and such and, you know, say that was the best party that we ever had or that was the best meal we ever had. And I didn't, you know, pe surprising people that I didn't even know you were here. And, you know, coming and letting them know that, yeah, we're here and we're really good. When you insure your boat or watercraft this season, don't send your hard-earned money sailing. Keep your money here, working in your community. Insure with Turnbull Insurance. You'll get great, reliable, and affordable coverage for your boat. Turn to a company anchored in the Mohawk Valley. Turn to Turnbull. You keep saying you're going to do something about your back and joint pain. Call Dr. Michael Tucherone, one of the area's only K-Laser Therapy chiropractors, the most advanced non-invasive treatment of acute and chronic pain. Call 853-6225 and embark on your wellness journey today. Hi, Dr. Tom. Bringing your cat to the Paris Hill Cat Hospital on Sundays is a part of Mohawk Valley Living. Come inside and see why. Paris Hill Cat Hospital, this is Lindsay. How can I help you? Hello, Mrs. Cole. Your cat is losing weight and you need an appointment? And you're only available on weekends. Sure, I have an available appointment with Dr. Karen Sunday at 2 p.m. Does that fit into your schedule? Okay. We're open seven days a week because we know that your cat can become ill anytime. The Paris Hill Cat Hospital, quality care for your cats and kittens. Experience the Fenimore Art Museum overlooking beautiful Otsego Lake. Spend the day exploring the permanent collection of American Indian art and one of the nation's largest collections of American folk art. Current exhibitions this summer include The Wyeths, a family legacy, including works by N.C. Wyeth, Andrew Wyeth, James, Carolyn, Henriette, and her husband Peter, and Native Roots, the ninth contemporary Iroquois art biennial at the Fenimore Art Museum in Cooperstown. That special art, photograph, or memorabilia deserves a special frame. Oscars creates one-of-a-kind gold and silver leaf mirrors and frames. Oscars Picture Framing, 12 Kellogg Road, New Hartford. Have a tropical adventure and walk among hundreds of free-flying butterflies, tropical birds, plants, lizards, and frogs at the Pop Butterfly Conservatory. It's an unforgettable experience for all ages. Open seven days a week on Route 7 in Oneonta. When you shop Milan's Market, you'll be the grill master. That's because every hot dog, beef patty, and sausage is made by Bob Milan himself. Find everything for your next cookout from store-made meats to fresh salads and tabbouleh at Milan's Market at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. Tom's Natural Foods is your connection to local farms for natural and organic fruits and vegetables, meats, eggs, cheeses, and other milk products at Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally.
We've driven by the Little Hermosa Corporation sign on Main Street in New York Mills for many years. And today we get to find out what they do here. We meet many of the staff, including one of the owners, Jane Mulvihill. We learn that there are actually three different companies that work together to build steel and aluminum structures and highway signs, and also provide hot dip galvanizing. Three companies, a uh, family-owned company, uh, owned by the same people, three independent, Hermosa Corporation, Die Highway, and Hubble Galvanizing. Um, we all kind of feed off one another. Uh, here at Hermosa, we do sign the traffic signs and the large green signs that you'll see on the throughway, uh, as well as the sign structures themselves, the big steel frames that support those. Um, at Die Highway, they do also do the sign structures, as well as doing guide rail and bridge railing and, and the same type of things. At Hubble, they galvanize the materials, which is dipping them in molten zinc to give them a protective coating, as well as they have a, a fortress fusion company which is powder coating, which allows us to color the galvanizing after its completion to, to give the, the product a more aesthetic appeal. Uh, the Hubble companies were actually founded in the late 20s as a construction company, and these buildings are all the original manufacturing facilities that fed the Hubble companies. Um, the Hubble company and, and Hubble galvanizing um, had some Chapter 11 problems in the late 80s, Hermosa has been here since uh, 1992, and I believe Die Highway was, was formed in 1990. Um, we just manufacture products now. Uh, we have uh, about 140 employees between the three organizations. Um, most of us, I guess you would say at the upper level, the, the owners, myself, uh, some of the other people, all started as hub in the Hubble construction part, so we have a, a feel for making sure that our products can be installed easily and to make sure that they fit. And that, that's kind of, that, that's our sales pitch, uh, hopefully when people buy some stuff from us. We have multiple generation families that have worked for the organization for, for a lot of years, so th there really is some, some down-home family roots uh, Within the, within the organization. I'm standing in front of a sign here. It, it's really quite large, but when you're on the road, it looks so small. These signs are big, but I've been told they're going to be making them even bigger. And the reason for that is, get this, our aging population. They need bigger letters to be able to read them. So I guess I'm part of the, uh, the reason for the signs being what they're as big as they are, or will be. I'm making this very my own.